guys and today we are going to be working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas and I've adhered my gold leaf balls on here that just sounds really weird um, and I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to implement this or make this work so don't mind if I sound rather blank at some point <laughs> um, all right so I think what I'm going to do is I didn't paint the canvas and I want to put some paint on there, but I sort of want to do a flip cup on that and see how it works out. And then what I'm going to do up here, we will see in just a few minutes. Um, so I'm going to start with some white in my cup. And I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of gold in there. And I'll come in with some turquoise deep. And then more white. And I have a rose quartz here. And a little bit of the deep again. That's all I'm going to use, and then the rest is going to be white. And I'm going to flip it on here, and I'm going to move it around onto the canvas. turquoise -y. I probably should not have put any more in there. that there I think I'm in screen I'm gonna do a little more of that tiny bit of the deep turquoise. I'm just going to take a stick and actually I want a little more white in there. You guys may not be able to see exactly what's going on, but I know the look I'm going for, so just bear with me. All right. So I'm going to bring it back this way a little bit, and you'll understand why in just a moment. All right, so that is exactly what I want. And then I have two cups in here that have piping bags. And at the bottom of the piping bag, at the tip, I have a piping tip on there. So I am going to be filling these bags with paint because I have two. And I planned this this way on purpose because I want two. <laughs> bags and I'm just going to layer my colors in there no special way um, 
Just kind of get a little bit in here. Turquoise. I think that's all I'm going to do with the turquoise. That way it's running down the edges and it'll be married into the rest of it shortly thereafter. And so it's like a dirty piping bag or something of that nature. sit for a few and then this one is ready to go. I'm just going to take the tape off here. I'm wondering if I should put this up. Meh, we'll just pour it. And then we're going to come over That one cleared out and I wanted the top to be a little bit lighter. And then we're gonna go this way and let it go right off that upper edge. Just moving this around a bit. So I'm thinking out of the two bags, this one is definitely a better mix up because I love the pink lines. And we're gonna come this way. This way. I think I'm done. This is gorgeous. Very happy with this. So let me clean up the edges. And then we will bring you guys in. Okay, here we are. Uh, 
I'm very happy, 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 happy. And uh, I hope you guys uh, liked this pour. Um, it looks darker than it really is from what I can see, uh, but who knows? Sometimes on the camera it seems darker and then when you see it in the video, it, it's perfect. But this has so much movement in it and I'm really excited to continue exploring with this technique. Have a great day. Okay guys, here is, and there we go. Here is the dustpan pour from the other day, the double dustpan pour. I love, 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 love this piece. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy tonight's video um, that explores a little bit more of these gold leafed half balls. I hate saying gold balls because it just seems so inappropriate. Um, so I do hope that you enjoy tonight's video. I did a different uh, take on this and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, this is a 30 inch by 40 inch canvas and is available for purchase if you are so inclined. Um, anything else? Yes, ooh, I have one more. Hold on one sec. I'm kidding, I actually have two more. Um, or yeah after this one two more so this one i did a video on i was super frustrated with it uh so the video will never come out on youtube but it is on my instagram reels so you could see how angry i got i was throwing paint at some point and here are all of the beautiful gold cells uh this is super soft and beautiful and i couldn't be more happy with this battle that uh took a while to come out um and and work its way to a beautiful soft piece so this is a 20 by 20 inch um also available and uh, let me grab another one okay here we are so this is another 20 by 20 inch canvas and i was trying to do the um, magic wand pour but my um I would say my mix was too thin. Um, I have some mix from a couple months ago and maybe it just thinned out over time. I have no idea. It could have been a user error as well. Um, so the wandering or the, what is it? The magic wand pour did not work and it turned to like almost soup for me. Um, so what I did was just layer up the cups after that and um, just did a straight pour. And then I came in with some cell activator, white cell activator, and played around with some uh, different little areas on this piece. This painting is made with Payne's Gray. And then uh, my other colors in this are this little piggy's latte, this little piggy constellation. This is all that purple. and. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's divine. It glows. It sparkles. Um, and then the red I custom made. I mixed Grenache and Maraschino together and it came out amazing. Um, so I'm actually super happy with the end results, but definitely not a video that you will see on my YouTube channel. Now, let me see. There's one more I would like to show you. All right, so next is this beautiful wandering straight pour that finished with a ring pour in the center. I love this piece. This piece is absolutely gorgeous. Um, maybe I can move it into the light just for a moment because the sun is beaming in. So let's take it here. Um, this piece is just beautiful. I love all the details. Yep, if I could get them to focus. So let's get out of the sun because I can't hold the canvas also. Um, so the, the details in this piece are stunning and the fluorescent violet, I think just gives this a little extra oomph, I suppose we could say that um, and go from there. So I'm just playing with the lighting on the phone 
Um, but yep, so this is the 24 by 24 inch, also available. Please message me if you are um, interested.